Dolly Parton, and Kenny Rogers are two country music legends who formed a successful duo in the 1980s. Their partnership was marked by their undeniable onstage chemistry and a series of successful collaborations that produced timeless classics. Together, they significantly influenced the country music scene and left a lasting impact on the genre. In this script, we will delve into their musical partnership and the memorable classics that resulted from their collaboration. Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers are two legendary figures in country music, often surrounded by rumors of a romantic involvement. However, it's essential to set the record straight. Dolly Parton has been married to her husband, Carl Dean, since 1966, and Kenny Rogers had multiple marriages throughout his life. Both artists consistently denied these rumors, emphasizing their strong and platonic friendship instead. Their bond began professionally in the mid-1970s when they collaborated on several successful duets, such as Islands in the Stream and Real Love. Over the years, their chemistry and music and on stage appearances fueled the speculation of a romantic relationship. Nevertheless, Parton and Rogers maintained that their connection was purely a deep and genuine friendship rooted in mutual respect and admiration for each other's talents. Parton once mentioned in an interview, people always thought that we were having an affair and we never did. We just enjoyed each other's company and we were great friends. Rogers echoed these sentiments stating, we were great friends and we still are. We had a lot of fun working together, but there was never anything more than that. These long-standing rumors did not deter their professional collaboration or personal friendship. They continued to work together and support each other's careers, debunking the myth of a romantic connection. In fact, the strength of their friendship only grew stronger over the years, serving as a testament to their character and the depth of their relationship. In summary, while Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers were the subject of persistent romance rumors, both artists vehemently denied these claims. Their relationship was built on a foundation of mutual respect, admiration, and a deep platonic friendship that spanned decades. Dolly Parton, a name synonymous with country music, began her professional journey in the early 1960s. However, it wasn't until 1976 that she had her first meeting with Kenny Rogers on her show, which marked the beginning of a long-lasting friendship. This friendship would later transform into a significant musical collaboration, culminating in the hit song Islands in the Stream. The partnership between Parton and Rogers was gradual, but the release of Islands in the Stream in 1983 solidified their status as a formidable duo in the music industry. This song, which became a massive hit, showcased their unique vocal harmonies and cemented their place in country music history. Prior to their collaboration, both artists had already established themselves as successful solo artists. Parton, with her distinctive voice and songwriting skills, had become a household name, while Rogers, with his smooth vocals and versatility, had also made a name for himself in the industry. However, their collaboration brought something new and exciting to both their careers. The success of Islands in the Stream led to further collaborations between the two, including the album Once Upon a Christmas in 1984. Their partnership became a symbol of enduring friendship and mutual respect, and their music continues to be cherished by fans worldwide. In conclusion, Dolly Parton's professional beginnings and her collaboration with Kenny Rogers are an essential part of her musical journey. Their friendship, which began in 1976, led to a significant musical partnership that produced hits such as Islands in the Stream and Once Upon a Christmas. Their music remains a testament to their enduring friendship and their contributions to the country music genre. Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers were both born in small towns in Tennessee and grew up with a deep understanding of poverty. This shared background created a strong bond between them, going beyond their professional lives as successful music artists. Parton, in particular, came from a large family of 12 children and often jokes about how she was one of 12 siblings and the prettiest one too. Her family was so poor that they didn't have proper shoes to wear and Parton has shared stories of how she would perform in her bare feet as a child. Despite these humble beginnings, Parton's talent and determination led her to become one of the most successful country music artists of all time. Similarly, Rogers also experienced poverty in his childhood. He worked as a paperboy to help support his family, and his parents often struggled to make ends meet. However, like Parton, Rogers' talent and hard work paid off, leading him to a successful career in country music and beyond. Parton and Rogers first met in the early 1970s and quickly became close friends. They shared a mutual respect for each other's talents and often performed together. Their duet Islands in the Stream became a massive hit 
and solidified their status as one of the most successful musical partnerships in country music history. Despite their success, Parton and Rogers never forgot their humble beginnings. They remained grounded and always remembered where they came from. This shared background created a deep connection between them and they remained close friends until Rogers' passing in 2020. In conclusion, Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers shared humble beginnings and a deep understanding of poverty which forged a deeper connection between them beyond their professional life. Their friendship and musical partnership were built on a foundation of mutual respect and a shared background, making them one of the most successful and cherished duos in country music history. Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers were more than just musical collaborators. They were close friends who shared a deep bond. Their friendship, which lasted for decades, was so strong that it even extended to their touring groups, creating a family-like atmosphere during their tours. Parton and Rogers often toured together, and their shows were always highly anticipated events. They had a playful and dynamic relationship that added excitement to their performances. Rogers once described their friendship as having a playful tension that kept it vibrant and interesting over the years. This tension was evident in their concerts as they would often banter and joke with each other on stage. Despite their playful relationship, Parton and Rogers had a deep respect and admiration for each other. They were both accomplished musicians who had made significant contributions to the world of country music. Parton was known for her powerful voice and emotive songwriting, while Rogers was admired for his smooth vocals and ability to connect with audiences. Together, Parton and Rogers created a unique sound that was greater than the sum of its parts. Their duets were some of the most memorable in country music history, and their friendship was a testament to the power of music to bring people together. In addition to their musical collaborations, Parton and Rogers also worked together on various charity projects and initiatives. They were both committed to giving back to their communities and using their platforms to make a positive impact. Overall, Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers' friendship and professional dynamic was a special and enduring one. Their playful tension and deep respect for each other created a vibrant and dynamic relationship that enriched their lives and the lives of their fans. Their legacy will continue to resonate in the world of country music for years to come. Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers were close friends in the music industry, known for their hit duets and warm camaraderie. However, their relationship never crossed the line into romance. Both Parton and Rogers were already married and committed to their respective spouses. They valued their marital bonds and chose to maintain their friendship without pursuing any romantic involvement. This respect for each other's commitments is a testament to their maturity and integrity. Their professional collaboration never wavered, and they continued to produce memorable music together while upholding their personal responsibilities. Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers have long been the subject of media and public speculation regarding their relationship. However, both celebrities have consistently clarified that their friendship is purely platonic. In numerous interviews, Rogers humorously addressed Parton's repeated refusals to pursue anything beyond friendship. Despite the continuous media speculation, Parton and Rogers have maintained a strong and enduring friendship that has spanned over several decades. They have collaborated on many successful music projects together, which has only served to strengthen their bond. Parton has often spoken about her friendship with Rogers, emphasizing that they have a deep and meaningful connection that goes beyond romantic interest. She has praised Rogers for his talent, kindness, and humor, and has described him as one of her closest friends in the industry. Similarly, Rogers has also spoken highly of Parton, expressing his admiration for her talent, work ethic, and generosity. He has often joked about Parton's numerous refusals to date him, adding a lighthearted touch to their public conversations about their relationship. Overall, while the media and public have continued to speculate about the nature of Parton and Rogers' relationship, both celebrities have consistently clarified that they are just good friends. Their enduring friendship, collaboration, and mutual respect for each other are a testament to the power of meaningful connections in the entertainment industry. Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers have shared a long and successful musical partnership. In 2017, Kenny Rogers announced his retirement from music due to health issues, and he wanted to end his career with a special farewell performance. Dolly Parton was honored to join him for this momentous occasion. Their final concert together was a celebration of their enduring connection and mutual respect. They sang some of their greatest hits, such as Islands in the Stream and Real Love, which delighted their fans and showcased their incredible talent and friendship. 
This concert encapsulated their joint legacy in the music industry, highlighting their many years of collaboration and success. Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers have made a significant impact on country music and their partnership has resulted in some of the genre's most beloved songs. Their music has touched the hearts of millions of people worldwide and their legacy will continue to inspire future generations of musicians. While Kenny Rogers has retired from music, Dolly Parton continues to perform and create new music. She remains an influential figure in the music industry and her contributions have left a lasting impact. Fans of Dolly Parton can look forward to new music and performances as she continues to share her talent with the world. In conclusion, Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers' final performance together was a fitting tribute to their enduring friendship and musical partnership. Their concert highlighted their joint legacy in the music industry and showcased their incredible talent and friendship. While Kenny Rogers has retired, Dolly Parton continues to inspire and delight fans with her music and performances. Their legacy will continue to resonate with fans and musicians for years to come. Dolly Parton has been open about her celebrity crushes over the years, and one of those was on the late Johnny Cash. She has spoken about how she had a crush on him even before they met, and how she admired his talent and his personality. Parton and Cash became good friends, and their friendship was a special one that lasted for many years. Parton has also shared stories about her first meeting with the singer and actor Kenny Rogers. She has talked about how she felt an instant connection with him and how they became close friends over the years. Parton and Rogers worked together on many projects and their professional bond was as strong as their personal one. Parton has often spoken about the depth of her friendship with Rogers and how much he meant to her. She has said that they could tell each other anything and that they had a lot of respect for each other. Parton has also talked about how Rogers was like a brother to her and how she will always cherish the memories they made together. In conclusion, Dolly Parton's relationships with Johnny Cash and Kenny Rogers were significant in her life and career. Her crush on Cash and her friendship with Rogers were both deep and meaningful and they had a lasting impact on her. Parton's stories about her celebrity crushes and personal anecdotes give us a glimpse into her life and the people who have meant the most to her. Dolly Parton, the renowned country music artist, is known for her universal themes of love and acceptance in her music and public statements. Unlike her former collaborator, Kenny Rogers, who openly supported Donald Trump, Parton has chosen to maintain a neutral public stance on politics. Parton's focus has always been on bringing people together through her music rather than taking sides in political debates. She has said that she wants her music to be a source of comfort and joy for all her fans, regardless of their political beliefs. Despite her apolitical stance, Parton has never shied away from sharing her personal opinions on social issues. She has been a longtime supporter of LGBTQ plus rights and has spoken out against discrimination in all forms. Parton has also been a vocal advocate for education and literacy, starting her own imagination library program that has donated millions of books to children around the world. Parton's ability to connect with people from all walks of life has made her one of the most beloved figures in country music. Her universal themes of love and acceptance have resonated with fans for decades, and her refusal to engage in divisive politics has only added to her appeal. In short, while Parton's former collaborator Kenny Rogers may have openly supported Donald Trump, Parton has chosen to maintain a neutral public stance on politics. Instead, she has focused on spreading love and acceptance through her music and personal advocacy, earning her a special place in the hearts of fans around the world. 